Chewing gum. What is it? Wikipedia says that it is a type of gum made for chewing that dates back at least 5,000 years. Modern chewing gum was originally made of chicle and natural latex. Nowadays, it is mostly a polymeric synthetic rubber. Before chewing, it's hard, yet can be bent. It's powdery and dry, and you can make indentations in it. When chewed, it can be sticky and stretchy. We can pull it into long strings. We can make ultra-thin walled bubbles. But the shapes are not limited to what can be done with it. It can have a good smell, a good taste, and could have bright colors. You could use it to fill cracks in flower pots or walls, hang pictures or posters or artwork. You can train your jaw muscles. It can be used to deliver medications or for DNA analysis. Chewing the gum can have positive influence in concentration, attention, and coping with stressful situations increases blood supply for the brain. Kids can buy chewing gum at the local shop for three cents a piece, and adults can buy a pack of it for a euro. And many people buy gum. Only in the UK, 28 million people chew gum. Add that to the rest of the world. For example, 59% of the people in the U.S., 79% in Saudi Arabia, and 82% in Iran chew gum as well. Unfortunately, 80 to 90% of the chewing gum is not disposed of correctly. Some people put it in handbags to dispose of it later, but others spit it on the ground and don't even think twice about it. Some other people choose to stick it on any surface they decide convenient. There is gum everywhere. The issue is that to clean the chewing gum from public places has become a big financial burden. The gum costs three cents a piece, but it costs 10 cents a piece to clean it. The UK government estimated that it spent 158 million pounds trying to clean up chewing gum in 1997. Add that to the cost in the rest of the world. Okay, except for Singapore, where it has been banned and you can go to jail for it. How about we make the disposal of chewing gum fun? It's not a new concept. Remember the fly sticker on a toilet bowl that helps people to aim? Or the aluminum can catcher along the highways? We think a bin with a target and a counter can do the trick. If you either dispose of the gum in the bin or spit it to hit the target and succeed, a savings counter will add up 10 cents from which 70% will go to the gum's community pot. Where a project can be completed based on a continuing growing list, say a bench in the park or a boat to cross a canal, etc. The other 30% will help sustain this project. And to further increase sustainability, the targets, bins, and community projects can be made with Bullis Recycled Gum Plastic, or BRGP, a plastic based on recycled gum implemented by Anna Bullis. You can find out more at AnnaBullis.com. So what then is the value created with this project? The non-tangibles include entertainment, a cleaner community, and improvement of community spirit. Based on a response of only 1% and with the numbers given for the UK in 1997, at first glance, the tangibles would be about 1 million euros in community projects per year and 0.5 million euros to sustain the project. And you can chew on that.